It feels like forever since I have sat down and done one of these videos for you guys. This is my Mondays Marvelous and Mundanes. So I've got a whole lot of Marveluses and only a couple Mundanes. I hope that's okay. Most of it is makeup, so we're going to start with the stuff that is not makeup. First off, these. Lisa, my very, very best friend in the world, bought me these, um, oh my god, so many years ago because we've been friends for so long. Um, these are Coach sunglasses. I absolutely love them. I've been loving them with my red hair. I know it's going to sound incredibly strange, but because they have a white frame on them, I love the way they fit my face and I love the white frame. These I've been using like crazy recently. They are always in my purse and I'm just absolutely loving them. The other non-makeup favorite is this. Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar Body Butter. Oh my god, you guys know this is a rediscovered. I loved this last year. Use this all day, every day. Love the way it smells. You don't need a lot of it. It's super rich. Oh, it's like heaven. It's heaven in a bottle. I found this the other day when I was cleaning up this room. And I smelt it and I was just like all over it again. If you like the smell of coconut but not sweet coconut, like more of a tart because it has that nectar kind of pulling it, this is perfect. It's great. I love it. I love it. And then my last non-beauty favorite is my current phone case. You guys know I am a huge fan of Casefy, formerly Casegram, or Casegram, formerly Casefy. I don't know. I'll leave a link down below, but I create tons of phone cases through them, and I recently created one for me and Alex. So it's just got four photos of us and then four of my favorite sayings. I still fall for you every day. To me, you're perfect. Anyway, I just really, really love these. It's a great way to personalize your phone, and I'm a big fan. So I'll link them down below. Now, getting into the makeup. You guys know I love, these are Tony, Tony Moly lip balms. I absolutely love them. I have both of the lip ones, the red one, which is honey, and this one, which is blueberry. I love both of these. He launched a new blueberry one, and it is the same formulation that is in the other blueberry one, but it came shaped as a blueberry. And if anyone knows me, you know that I have a serious, like, I li I'm a collector. I like to collect silly, cute things. So this was right up my alley. I had to pick it up. And I've been using that one more than my other ones, so I'm listing it as a favorite. But I love all of the Tony Moly lip balms. I think they are amazing. Also, new favorite that I haven't really been talking about a whole bunch, the Marc Jacobs Twinkle Pops. And this one is in the color Layla. This color, though, it's the most gorgeous. Ha. <sighs> It's just a gorgeous rusty toned red. If you have blue eyes, you need to go out and pick this up. It is stunning. It is my like go-to kind of like all over lid primer right now. I'm absolutely loving it. You can wear it straight up by itself. I'm gonna leave it on for a bit and show you guys how it sets so you guys can see exactly what it does. Now, over top of that lately, I've been wearing one of four palettes. The first one is the Makeup Forever Artist Palette, which Stephanie got me in our swap. Oh my god, these shades, you guys, are absolutely gorgeous. I've worn this blue under my eyes so many days. I think my friends are really tired of seeing it. The surprise shade for me in this palette was the matte one over here. I really didn't think I would use that one like I would use all the other ones, but I've actually been using that one a ton in my crease. It is just super, super buttery, and it's just the most gorgeous neutral crease shade, and I've been loving that. I've also been loving this sleek palette. This is the... Oh, ow, which one is this? Oh So Special 658. The colors on this palette are gorgeous. I've especially been using kind of this section of the palette over here. These corals and these brighter pinks. I really, really am loving this. This rose gold is to die for. This one right here. Gorgeous, gorgeous palette. Been using it a lot. This was actually sent to me by Maybelline, the Blush Nudes palette. I did a full review on it and I'm loving it. I don't know why I don't use my regular nudes palette more. I'm going to start because the quality of these eyeshadows are phenomenal, but I've definitely been loving the blush nudes and I think they just look great on blue slash green eyes. Great little palette to pick up at the drugstore. And then the only other thing I've been wearing on my eyes is this and I was supposed to get rid of this. If you have watched my um, eyeshadow single palette review like de stash, uh, this was supposed to go because it's completely broken, but I couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to get rid of it, even though all these shades here are cracked and gone. I have been using this still a ton and loving it. I can't, I can't, I can't bring myself to get rid of it. I just like it way, way, way too much. 
Now for lipsticks, uh, let's do blushes. For blushes, I've got like, I rediscovered my Clinique Pop blushes and I have to say, I picked up Melon Pop, which is one of the new colors, and I'm just not super impressed by it the way I am with my other pop blushes. I'll swatch it for you guys. That's Melon Pop. It's actually quite beautiful. It's a very soft coral, but I find it very similar to Peach Pop, which is one that I had from before and really love. Peach Pop is definitely darker, but the shade tone is very, very similar. So if you're going to pick up one of those two, I would say pick up Peach Pop before you pick up the new Melon Pop. I just like it better. And same with this one, which is Berry Pop. Um, I find Berry Pop to be quite similar to Pink Pop. So if you're looking at picking some of these up, just be careful that some of the new colors do look an awful lot like the older colors and you may not need them if you already own the older colors. The only other blush I've been reaching for is this one and this is Illamasqua. Stephanie also got me this in our swap. This is the Illamasqua blush color in Hussy. If you have never tried an Illamasqua blush, you don't know what you're missing, especially this one. This is the most gorgeous corally pink color you will ever see in your whole entire life. These are so blendable and so creamy. I think everybody needs at least one Illamasqua blush. That has become my go-to favorite color. One favorite mascara, which is the Physician's Formula, Sexy Eyes. You guys know I love this mascara. I've used it a ton. I've been using this one a lot lately. I love that I can constantly go over my eyes with it and it doesn't clump up. That is probably my favorite feature because sometimes in the middle of my day, oh, my hair, my hair went a little haywire over there and put black on my forehead. Sometimes in the, in the middle of my day, I'll find that my lashes need a little pick me up. The only mascara I found that doesn't do that is the Benefit Roller Lash, which I've only recently just been using, so I didn't want to kind of put it into a favorites video yet. But I am loving this. It is one of the only lashes, um, it's one of the only mascaras I've used that I don't feel like I'm constantly touching up throughout the day. Last but not least is lips. And for my lips, I have been using very specific products. I have been obsessed with the Kat Von D Liquid Lip, Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. Mine is in the color Backstage Bambi. This has been my go-to pink lipstick for a long time. I love the coloring on it. I love that it is smudge proof. Once it sets, it's all day wear. It's a gorgeous color. So I've been loving that. On days that I want something a little bit softer, I used my NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. This is a more nude tone pink that smells like candy. If you've never smelled one of these, you really ought to run out and smell them because they're just amazing. That is Eclair up there. It's just a really nice soft pink with a nice shine. Looks great on your lips. Now, when I'm going for lipsticks, these have kind of just taken over my world. The NARS Audacious Lipsticks, I have mine in three colors. The very first color I got was Annabella, and it was a red that I wore for an event and then got to keep. It's gorgeous. It's the most perfect pure red. It is honestly my go-to red right now. I'm loving Annabella. Then Mrs. Stephanie got me Juliet in our swap box haul. And at first when I saw Juliet, I was like, mm, I don't know. This is before I told Stephanie that I wanted it. It looks really boring, but when you get this color on your lips, it's the most beautiful coral color. And then to, to round out my trio, I had to get Greta, which is a gorgeous hot pink. You guys have no idea. Like when I say hot pink, I mean it's a hot pink. That's it right there, that's Greta. And then the last lipstick I have been living off of this month has been number 37 from Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Intense. And this again, is just a really beautiful, vibrant, pinky coral. I have been loving that tone of lipstick. Now, Twinkle Pop, I wanna go back and show you guys. Smudge proof, I'm rubbing the heck out of this and it's not moving. Do you guys see that? Yeah, so those set really nicely. A couple mundanes. The first one is this Mica Beauty Eye Primer. Now I have two of them. They used to come in different packaging, but it looks like their ingredients have also changed. And that's why I'm not happy about it. I liked this one a lot more than this one. I just find the one that has castor seed oil as its first ingredient to be less pigmented and less blendable than the other one. And the coloring is just a little bit different. I didn't like that they switched the formula. I wish that they had left it alone. I did receive both of these in an Ipsy bag or Beauty Box 5 or one of those types of bags. 
So I'm not super worried about it. It's not like I paid for it and got didn't get what I wanted. It's more like I just was surprised by the fact that they had switched the formula and didn't really tell anybody. So that's something to be aware of if you are liking that. Another absolute mundane product this month was the Sephora Rouge Infusion in color number 10 Red Essence. I put this on yesterday. It had such staining power on my hands, but on my lips, it literally was off in like an hour. It was not impressive at all to me. So those are my two mundanes for this month. Surprise pop-up giveaway! If you're interested in winning some of my favorites, I'm not going to tell you guys which ones, but if you're interested in winning some of my favorites, I'll give you guys a quick sneak peek. Quick sneak peek, quick sneak peek. Ready, set, go. Peek, 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 peek. Close. So if you're interested in winning some of my favorite goodies from this month, leave a comment down below and let me know which of my favorites is also your favorite. If you don't like any of my favorites, which would be impossible because there are so many amazing products here, let me know what your current favorite is down below, whether it's for eyes or lips, I don't care. Just let me know what you're loving. Rules will all be posted down below, but as usual, my giveaways are only open to my subscribers. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Could someone so perfect like you exist? Let your heart call out, run away with me We could dance all night, if you stay with me Where the stars never fall